The Sony A7 series has long been at the heart of Sony's mirrorless dominance, and now all eyes are on the upcoming Sony A7V, the much-anticipated successor to the A7 IV. For years, this lineup has been the gateway for professionals and serious enthusiasts looking for a powerful hybrid camera that delivers both excellent stills and video performance. With recent leaks, registration codes, and growing industry chatter, it's becoming increasingly clear that the A7V isn't just a rumor anymore, it's a real product that's on its way. The big questions now are, what new technology will it bring, will the changes justify its higher price tag, and ultimately, is it worth the upgrade for photographers and filmmakers in 2025? To understand why the A7V is such a big deal, we need to revisit the history of Sony's A7 line. When the A7 III launched back in 2018, it completely disrupted the camera market. At just $1,999, it offered incredible value for a full-frame mirrorless camera, delivering performance that rivaled models costing much more. Many even called it a game-changer because it made high-end photography and videography accessible to a wider range of creators. Then, in 2021, Sony released the A7 IV, priced at $2,499. It came with noticeable improvements in resolution, video specs, and overall usability, but also marked the beginning of a price shift upward in Sony's lineup. Fast forward to 2025, and here comes the Sony A7V, with a price hike yet again, proof that Sony is positioning this model as an even more premium hybrid camera. Reports now confirm that the Sony A7V has appeared under the model code WW084220, officially registered in May 2025. Manufacturing has been spotted in Wuxi, China, which means production is already underway. This isn't speculation anymore, the A7V is real, and the launch window is getting closer. But, as with any new release, the crucial question is what users will actually get for their money. Early information points to US pricing at around $2,799 for the body-only version, with some whispers suggesting it could creep closer to $2,999 depending on region and taxes. In Asia, additional customs duties and VAT could push the price even higher, making this a serious investment for many photographers. So, is Sony simply increasing prices because it can, or is the A7V loaded with enough innovation to warrant the jump? That's where the conversation gets interesting. At the heart of the leaks are two potential sensor options. One rumor suggests a 44-megapixel BSI CMOS sensor, while another points to a 33-megapixel stack CMOS sensor. Both options have their strengths, and whichever Sony chooses will ultimately define how the A7V is positioned in the market. A 44-megapixel sensor would mean higher resolution and more detail, ideal for photographers who need flexibility for cropping, large prints, or commercial work. It would place the A7V closer to premium cameras like the Leica Q3, appealing to professionals who want resolution without stepping into Sony's A7R series. On the other hand, a 33-megapixel stack sensor would prioritize speed, offering faster readout times, reduced rolling shutter, and stronger low-light performance. For hybrid shooters, sports photographers, or anyone focused on video, this option could be extremely attractive. Ultimately, both directions make sense, but they serve very different audiences. Sony's decision here could determine whether the A7V feels like a true resolution upgrade or more of a speed-oriented hybrid powerhouse. Moving beyond the sensor, one area where excitement is building is autofocus. The A7V is expected to run on Sony's Bion's XR processor, the same engine powering high-end models like the A1 and FX3. When paired with Sony's increasingly advanced AI-driven autofocus, this should mean even smarter and faster subject recognition. We're talking real-time tracking not just for faces and eyes, but for animals, vehicles, and even more complex scenarios like backlit subjects or busy, moving backgrounds. Sony's AI autofocus has already proven to be one of the best in the industry, but there are still challenges, particularly in low light or when subjects move unpredictably. If the A7V pushes this technology forward with stronger accuracy and reliability, it could become one of the most dependable tracking systems on the market, a critical advantage for street photographers, sports shooters, and videographers alike. Of course, hybrid cameras are only as strong as their video capabilities, and this is where Sony is expected to raise the bar. Early reports suggest that the A7V will offer 4K 16-bit RAW output, along with support for S-Log3 and S-Cinetone, Sony's signature cinematic color profile. This combination makes the camera particularly appealing for filmmakers, YouTubers, and content creators who demand cinematic flexibility without investing in a dedicated cinema camera. 
The possibility of shooting high dynamic range footage and grading it extensively in post-production makes the A7V stand out. That said, expectations are high in 2025, and many will be watching closely to see if Sony includes oversampled 6K capture or at least full-frame 4K at 60fps. Without these features, some filmmakers may feel underwhelmed, as these capabilities are increasingly standard even in mid-tier models from competitors. One confirmed highlight, however, is the 8-stop, 5-axis in-body image stabilization system. This is a huge improvement for handheld shooting, potentially enabling smooth footage even while walking or shooting on the move. If Sony's implementation matches what the specs promise, it could mean freedom from gimbals in many situations, a massive benefit for run-and-gun filmmakers and vloggers. On the flip side, if real-world performance falls short, creators may still find themselves relying on external stabilization gear. When it comes to usability, the A7V appears to continue Sony's tradition of designing cameras with professionals in mind. Expect a familiar, rugged build quality, likely weather sealed for outdoor shooting, with a deep grip and customizable buttons. Dual card slots supporting both CF Express Type A and SD cards are expected, ensuring photographers and videographers can capture high bitrate footage and stills without compromise. As for design, don't expect radical changes, the A7 series has a formula that works, and Sony is unlikely to deviate too far from that proven template. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, price. At nearly $2,800 to $3,000, the Sony A7V is positioned as a premium hybrid camera. This pricing makes sense if the new sensor, AI-driven autofocus, and video upgrades deliver, but it does push the model out of reach for some enthusiasts. The A7 series was once known as the everyman's professional full frame, but the steady increase in price risks alienating part of its original audience. For those who need the balance of high-quality stills and serious video capabilities in one body, however, the A7V may still justify the cost, particularly if it outperforms its rivals in this segment. So, where does all of this leave us? The Sony A7V is shaping up to be one of the most exciting hybrid cameras of 2025, promising a balance of resolution, speed, advanced autofocus, and powerful video features. But it won't be perfect. If Sony opts for the 33-megapixel sensor, some photographers may feel short-changed compared to the rumored 44-megapixel option. If it doesn't deliver full-frame 4K 60p or oversampled 6K, videographers could turn to alternatives from Canon, Nikon, or Panasonic. And, of course, the rising cost will remain a sticking point for many buyers. At the end of the day, the A7V's success will come down to execution. If Sony manages to refine autofocus, push IBIS to new levels, and deliver either groundbreaking resolution or speed, this camera could easily become the go-to choice for creators who demand versatility. If not, it risks being seen as an expensive iteration rather than a revolutionary step forward. For now, all we can do is wait for the official launch and see whether the Sony A7V truly lives up to the hype.